I'm getting like really articulate like I feel like you're very you're coming across very like I want to say poised or very just at least this is to someone or I feel like somebody of your past like is noticing this about you your communication style I feel like you guys are wanting to get more of in like a professional energy and doing something like maybe not being a little kid or not like saying you're doing the wrong things or being childish per se okay but somebody of your past is definitely noticing that you like have changed okay so i'm gonna go ahead and get some of these i use these for the advice last reading but i'm gonna go ahead and see what's going on you guys are definitely going to see your energy change your energy shift okay dramatically okay or at least somebody is saying this about you they're like yeah their energy changed like they changed that's what i'm getting So surrender to the divine came up and now bring love into the situation. So I feel as if here that you guys are bringing love into everything that you guys are doing nowadays. We have show the world the real you. So spirit is saying to show the world the real you. Show the world your authentic nature. I don't know why there's somebody writing about you, maybe journaling or thinking about you. So you guys are showing your your real selves to the world. Let's go and see what else is going on. Then we have step out of your comfort zone. What I notice is all these purples on here. So this is your crown, maybe your third eye chakra really being activated currently. I'm really getting here what step outside out of your comfort zone. I'm getting you to step outside of your comfort zone like the last time somebody spoke to you maybe you were like inside of your comfort zone or you were at a certain place where like somebody really wanted to maybe belittle you I almost want to say or like make you feel smaller than them because you may make somebody feel really like tiny illiterate not the best <laughs> you guys may not even know this this is how some of you guys might make somebody feel because maybe of your intellect or the way you speak or the way you come across or just how you guys are overall. But you guys didn't necessarily do anything wrong. This is just other people's insecurities, okay? Somebody also is very shocked at your knowledge or the things that you know or maybe you've always had this wisdom to you since you were young. There are a lot of people who know your name. Your north node could be an Aquarius or Leo. So conclusions are within reach. So I feel like here, whatever you guys are trying to draw without a situation or with a situation, there's like something that's wrapping up or you're able to see we have you are good enough so i feel like here you guys do feel good enough you guys do feel good i feel like you guys have to catch up on something maybe this is a work deadline or deadline overall you guys could be setting this for yourselves lots of different cycles lots of different things going on for you guys currently but overall really what i'm getting here is this change you guys have stepped into a divine energy you guys are currently in a divine energy when it comes to like you guys are currently in a divine energy when it comes to how you guys are coming across the things you're accepting your boundaries the things you guys say no to some of you guys could have been you know like able to see or it feels like here that like some of you guys were a little confused why someone was like or maybe this is like an energy you guys are receiving from people where you were like trying to see or I don't know like okay I'm trying to like how am I gonna get this across I feel like you guys are thinking before you guys are speaking but it feels as if here that maybe somebody was feeling again like 
you guys might have like a certain image or something it's these standards and I don't know like there's really no reason for an energy to feel I guess insecure around you but this is maybe how you guys are seeing it you're like hey but like you're great like you have these qualities too but I don't know I'm kind of getting like some, maybe this certain privileges or certain um maybe something that you guys just have or that you guys are able to vibrate in because that's what you karmically were destined to be brought into okay I don't know why I felt God had to say it like that spirits that's how spirit wanted me to say it but yeah it definitely does feel like here that I don't know you guys were just like really confused why energies were feeling threatened maybe you guys were trying to uh you know take a break from tarot readings or tarot in general um I don't know some of you guys were thinking something was affecting you and it wasn't it's just I don't know messages beyond point I guess but um I you know I'm getting here that I don't know it's really hard to put my finger on like it feels like here that excuse me like certain energies when they would like be around you guys you guys would like it's like somebody who feels like they had to put on their best selves all the time because like that's how they see you like people or energies may see you in a very high regard or you guys hold like a very high position maybe in society or just overall what's the overall energy for this reading please and thank you spirit yeah we have the four swords so we have resting or four swords kind of talks about being a little stressed as well you can be gemini libra aquarius here watching i'm gonna get some water ace of wands i am recording this at the end of the year so wow what a year 2024 has been it went by so quick you guys so four swords that's what i'm saying i feel like you guys are thinking about like like, you're like, oh my gosh, like, I have this to do, I have that to do. So, I feel like, that's what I'm saying, be bold and make the first move. So, you guys need to, you know, give yourself a pat on the back and not be so hard on yourselves. Because, like, you guys are very inspiring to others or someone, okay? And, like, again, some of you guys just are not seeing it. Like, maybe something doesn't make that much sense to you. You are able to influence someone's viewpoint or this intellect or just being able to have a strong argument. You have a very convincing spirit to you. Let's go ahead and see what's going on for this reading. Thank you, spirit, for this collective. Thank you. Thank you. We have the high priestess. We have Pisces. Let's see. You have the three of pentacles, the two of wands. The lovers mm, yeah you know I feel like here somebody's like I'm hearing F boy F girl <laughs> yeah knight of wands so we have the high priestess so starting off we have high intuition the two of wands so you could be getting a notice for your intuition or this is kind of like when you're like, yep, told you so, but, like, not in that way. It's kind of, like, mean sometimes when people do it, but you guys know, like, or you're like, I knew that was going to happen. Like, I'm kind of getting mad. Like, one of those situations is happening. You're like, maybe this is what's going on in life currently. You're like, I knew that would happen. Like, I knew it. Even if you guys aren't saying it to someone, you guys are like, I knew it, okay? We're the two of wands, and we have the three of pentacles. So, I feel like here this is in some form of a work environment or some form of love situation. We have the lovers, the three of wands. You could be connecting with somebody at a distance here or you are going to be connecting with somebody at a distance. If you don't have love in your life currently, then this is like you maybe you guys thinking about your past or something. Uh, three of wands. But I'm definitely getting somebody wanting to connect with you or somebody at bay. Someone could live by the water. You could be wanting to move by the water. Okay, what's the high priestess? Thank you. We have the Nine of Swords, Two of Wands, Three of Pentacles, that's insane, we have the Page of Swords, 
So we have the lover's card. Thank you. You know what I'm getting here? Okay, so I'm getting love energy, but I'm getting... Some of you guys are connecting with someone where they don't want to get, like, too attached or something. Or maybe somebody, you and someone have the same sign or something here. Aspects. Um, but I feel like here, like, you, someone you're connecting with, you guys are very similar, but they don't want to, like, come off like they're doing too much. Meaning, like, they don't want to come off like they, like too clingy but i feel like here somebody feels really like obsessive is thinking about you okay of course this is people from your past but yes we have the high priestess and then we have the nine of swords so i feel like here with this high priestess card again here's this intuition the nine of swords it seems like some like some some of you guys were really yeah we have the nine of swords seven of swords then we have the death some of you guys were really worried about something maybe something coming to an end or something happening maybe this is infidelity okay um i feel like if that's what's occurring um maybe your intuition is telling you something about someone a Taurus Virgo, capricorn we have the two of wands energy being here so i feel as if here with this two of wands you guys are searching um this is kind of like a lurking card too i'm not sure if you guys are lurking <laughs> on someone's maybe socials or somebody is doing this to you we have the three of pentacles so i'm not sure what you guys exactly were right about but I definitely do see it being something here. Mm. I feel like here that with the Three of Pentacles, Two of Wands, and the Lovers, with the Lovers card energy being here, I feel like here that, again, here's this Lover, this Gemini, okay? It seems as if here somebody makes you guys very happy or somebody makes you guys feel like really abundant. Like maybe this is a new person. If it's not a new person, then this is like just an energy that's that's going to be reoccurring. I feel like you guys have met a soulmate. Maybe you guys were connecting with multiple people. You guys were able to see that somebody was i'm hearing full of s-h-i-t or was just trying to maybe do one thing with you was just trying to not really connect with you guys now you guys do have somebody coming in where they will be able to connect with your knowledge your intellect and not feel intimidated by it now i feel like here there was somebody or there is somebody or maybe like somebody was feeling some kind of way but they're not anymore I'm also getting, like, somebody was trying to, like, bind their energy with yours, so be careful. Cleanse currently. Yeah, we have the King of Cups. I'm not sure. I see an Earth sign male, and I see a Water sign male being here. Um, but we have the Star card energy here, so I'm definitely getting here connected spiritually. Like, somebody was trying to bind their energy maybe to you spiritually or wants to be connected to you. Or maybe this could just be wanting to be around you, okay? Really odd, very weird okay yeah there's a lot of men here so what i'm getting here is you guys may have quite the roster or um maybe this is men women whatever you guys you know you guys know how all this energy works um king of cups king, i'm just seeing like a lot of men or maybe this is a lot of suitors or maybe you have a lot of dates or uh maybe this is like maybe you're reminiscing of like if you're you know when you were younger you're like hmm, like i really miss doing that or that was really fun but i'm kind of getting here like maybe you're gonna reconnect with someone like an old friend or someone at a distance okay or maybe this is like an old lover yeah we had the hermit i'm really getting like somebody hasn't talked to somebody in like 10 years nine to ten years and like you're speaking to someone and it's like you guys can't believe it or you can't believe it with this reading you're like how did she know that okay <laughs> i'm getting here like there's something going on where um like, I definitely do see reconnection here being in the cards. I definitely do feel like you're, <clears throat> you're being, you just be, whoever you're speaking to, you guys, they really do view you as really different. Like, they're like, wow, like, you've changed. Like, that is not the same person I used to know. And I feel like here, this is really good, like, improvement. We have the Three of Swords, so I'm not sure if somebody, like, cheated or put you in a third party situation or made you, like... This is, like, something, like, a heartbreak that you guys can look back on and, like, kind of laugh at now. Like, wherever you guys are at, you're like, ugh, I was so dramatic. Or, it wasn't even that big of a deal. But, of course, some of those things happen in the moment. Like, you can't really say all that. But, 
I feel like here that, I don't know, it looks like you guys are reconnecting with someone, and I feel like here maybe somebody is going to try, that's what I'm getting, I do feel like here somebody is going to try to offer you guys another offer, I'm getting kindly declining, um, I feel like here with the six of wands, you guys kind of just are in a better place, um, and it's not like saying it in like a cocky way, like you're better than whoever this is, I mean, maybe you guys view yourself as that, I don't know, but like, it feels like here that, I don't know, it's like someone's trying to offer you something, maybe this is another relationship, another chance, but I kind of feel like you guys are moved on, or you're, maybe you're with somebody else, or you're connecting to with this other person here, and I feel like you guys just feel really, again, just very connected to whoever your new person is, but I definitely do see like an old person coming in. Now, if you're single here, then um, I feel like here, this energy could just be representing maybe your relationship with your old self versus now, okay? You guys are like, hmm, I used to be really different. Now I'm here, now I feel better, now I'm more vibrant, okay? But yeah, I definitely do feel like here, whoever, I'm definitely getting a person or somebody you're speaking to, like, they definitely do want, like, they definitely do want to be around you guys. And let's see the intention the intention is the seven of wands that's concerning well the justice the world i do feel like that's what i'm saying i do feel like here somebody definitely wants to have another sexual encounter with you maybe that's why somebody is speaking to you or obviously like someone's just trying to see like you know how you guys are doing but also like it's just giving energy where like you it's kind of sad to say, but it, I just, I don't know why I feel like this person is beneath you guys, because why, well, because I don't know, I feel like someone's really childish here still, but that, I don't feel like you guys are saying that, I feel like I'm just, like, tapping into, like, the tea, okay, what's going on, but, like, I feel like here, you know, overall, even if you guys didn't reconnect, I'm really getting, like, here just energies currently really do view you guys like in a high manner view you guys differently maybe you guys went through some more trauma got some more lessons and you guys were able to come out of it like a phoenix okay so let's go ahead and see how is the collective being viewed currently thank you how is the collective being viewed thank you exactly you're being viewed so highly with the empress like and you guys feel it like you guys like also like are really happy with this confirmation i'm picking up intuitively because like sometimes it's really good to hear like you know like the energy that you're feeling like you know you're feeling it for a reason like i feel like here like if you're you know in this empress energy this woman energy not only are you beautiful on the outside but you're beautiful on the inside like you know you can have the material things and make yourself feel good but like how are you feeling on the inside and i feel like you guys are feeling really good okay i feel like here again if you are healing through some form of trauma or whatever it is like you guys are always able to ground your energy back and do something best for yourself okay i would say beware to anybody you're speaking to about your mental state or what you're going through in the mind because i'm kind of just getting energies where you were Maybe just, again, feeling ungrounded and sometimes when you're, like, at, when you're at, like, this, when you usually vibrate really high, you have, that means you have the ability to go really low. So there is, like, a common, like, theme of energies not really being able to understand the power you hone, the power you may have, and you don't, never want to be confused or be put in a confused situation where you need to be, like, or more seriousness needs to happen when it doesn't and i feel like here that's very specific message like i feel like here when you are really in tune really and you're in tune with the spiritual side there's going to be some things to other people that really aren't going to make sense and you have to be the person to reground yourself build yourself back up have a plan what are you going to do to do this you know have a plan to move forward to work towards a goal to do something that's what I'm saying here, like, with the Hierophant, I would not be surprised if some of you guys are counselors or therapists here, okay? Um, now, with that, be careful. This could also be, like, just 
an energy where maybe you over vented to someone or over told someone or there was maybe lack of boundaries somewhere okay now how are you being viewed you're being viewed as like this like just this person that really has a lot of stuff together even though yeah the justice yeah you can be Taurus Libra definitely Taurus Libra um even though some of you guys maybe aren't open about maybe certain things you guys may go through or whatever it is like i feel like here because you guys have to have like this strong foundation or whatever me i don't know maybe i'm getting unit i'm getting your family okay or yourself okay but yeah that's what i'm getting here um the hierophant the justice the queen of wands you can have a black cat here as well or you could be purchasing some form of animal how are you guys being viewed? Again, very balanced. A lot of people want to come to you and just like talk to you or maybe get advice. That's what I'm saying. This is how this energy is like being used in the past. Like maybe before you were just like kind of crazy or out there or weren't really like, maybe you're just young. Okay. Uh, a time to give rather than take. A personal issue reaches resolution. So something that you guys are struggling with reaches resolution. Let's see what else is going on. How else are they being viewed? We have the Queen of Wands. So you'd be changing your sense of style. You could express yourself through forms of creativity. You are really loved, you guys. I don't think you guys understand it. We have the Three of Pentacles, the Lovers. How are they being viewed? Here's this logicalness. Again... That's what I'm saying. Like, some people were feeling... And that's, that's, like, good. Like, you guys really have, like, a kind spirit. Because even when energies are, like, feeling, like, some kind of way. Or, like, scared. Maybe intimidated. Or, like, that, like okay, I gotta be my best self around this person. Because look at how much this person... This much power this person has. Like, I don't know why I'm kind of getting in your presence as well, Collective. Whoever you speak to. Whoever you're around. They can, like, feel the etheralness. Like... I don't know maybe you guys like have like a mermaid vibe um or like a fairy or like a like i don't know like you guys like have like a abnormal energy to you maybe like abnormal gifts or just like something like that's like wow okay but you guys are really kind because like when you guys are able to feel this energy because maybe you guys are aware like okay like i am able to do this and this and i understand how that can be kind of hard or kind of you know like or it can just kind of come off maybe scary things the thing is like people do fear psychic abilities because like it's literally the unknown like nobody knows really where it comes from even intuitives and psychics really don't know like that like it's still something that's being figured out to this day and i actually like i feel like it's like kind of like testing theories almost like in a psychological way as well like but with with like you know psychic abilities or um intuition or having different practices again nothing is if it's not scientifically proven then it makes people like like want to step back and they're like whoa you know like whoa you know kind of getting that like so some of you guys are able to convince people in a logical mindset as well okay you guys also may have like um seducing like lilith prominent in you like maybe something that like is the spell okay but i mean you guys could be into spell work or wicca witchcraft these kind of things or um um i'm definitely getting like but i'm definitely getting like god as well like i'm definitely getting like really just going over like belief systems but overall like you guys have like this current like this image where you guys know you have to like come at or be your best self or whatever you guys do and sometimes when even when you guys talk to energies they might feel like kind of like mm, like i don't know like or like you guys know have you guys ever met a person where like you don't want to cuss around them or excuse me or you don't want to like say something like offensive you're like oh sorry i'm sorry like because like you guys have like have like a, like with this empress energy like a regal kind of vibe or like an energy where it's like hmm like that's royalty okay but you guys do a really good job of like making people feel comfortable like maybe validating them be like hey like 
you know, I'm not going to lower myself for you. Like, I'm going to always be myself. But, like, there's no reason to feel that way. Like, don't even know, you know, like, some, you're like, you don't even know, you know, what I'm going through. We can relate on so many more levels, okay? And I feel like you guys just are able to, again, just maybe have, like, this calm, like, maybe motherly, fatherly energy to you guys, okay? That's what I'm getting here. That was a really good reading. Okay, let's go ahead and wrap it up and get advice, okay? So again, this came up last reading. Don't let your past hold you back. I'm going to go ahead and go. Thank you guys. Bye.